Kazakhstan, where history has been written on the windblown steppe and the future glitters in thousands of lights on the horizon. For Kazakhstan, the ninth largest country in the world, its past has surely informed the indomitable spirit it exhibits today. From the wild horses and endless steppe that symbolize nomadic freedom, to the rapidly growing infrastructure and vibrant cities the country knows now, Kazakhstan has evolved and adapted to become successful, stable and independent, not in spite of its history, but because of it. According to ancient writings, the Kazakhs were valiant and courageous, innovative, adaptable. They played a defining role in shaping Central Eurasia. Today, what's past is prologue, as Kazakhstan again takes center stage as a dynamic leader in the region. Kazakhstan has seen its share of invaders and marauders, but it has also seen the influx of diverse peoples and religions. Today, Kazakhstan a country of more than a hundred ethnic groups and 17 religions is well known for its religious tolerance and ethnic diversity. Historically, this former breadbasket of the Soviet Union was also a large producer of metals, coal, oil and livestock products. Today, this abundance of natural resources is at the heart of the Kazakh economy. During the Soviet rule, the country suffered some of its greatest losses. The Soviet nuclear weapons testing program conducted over a 40-year period at the Semipalatinsk test site caused unimaginable human and environmental devastation. Generations of Kazakhs have paid and are still paying the price in cancer, birth defects, death and disease. The nation has renounced the world's fourth largest nuclear arsenal and has taken a leading role on the issue of nuclear responsibility advocating global nuclear disarmament with a strong voice and absolute moral authority. During its 550 years of established statehood history, the nation has experienced adversity and even atrocity, but it has prevailed. It has always prevailed. After centuries of political, economic and cultural crises, Kazakhstan came into its own. Its independence was proclaimed in 1991. Under the leadership of its first president, Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, Kazakhstan has seen unparalleled progress. Viewed through the prism of the past, this progress is reflected in many ways. Religious tolerance, adaptability, hospitality, patience, international diplomacy, innovation, strength, all inform today's Kazakhstan a willingness to see all sides, the propensity to balance and dialogue, the sense to not choose east over west, north over south, has made Kazakhstan an example of stable growth that any up-and-coming nation would do well to emulate. From the past comes a sense of purpose and a desire for progress and peace. On a clear day, there is no sky more blue, no clouds more majestic than those rolling over the steppe or kissing the peaks of the Tian Shan Mountains. Kazakhstan also boasts emerald green pine forests and miles of deep canyons, where the light plays red and gold and shadows cast a spell on anyone with a view to the canyon walls. The mountains host a variety of adventurers in every season. From skiing, snowboarding and skating, to hiking, riding and camping, Kazakhstan offers something for everyone. As host of the 2011 Asian Winter Games, the nation declared itself as a world-class destination for sporting events. Building on that success, Almaty has bid to host the 2022 Winter Olympics. But apart from the varied and stunning natural beauty of the country, cities have grown. Infrastructure has increased a thousandfold, along with the equally impressive Kazakh economy. And infrastructure will grow even further when the country implements its new economic policy, Nurlizol, over the next three years, making Kazakhstan even more of a major land bridge in the heart of Eurasia. Astana, the sparkling nascent capital of Kazakhstan, sits on the steppe as a concrete symbol of progress and innovation. 
high-rise buildings and green space mingle with the new but historically minded opera house and the presidential residence, the Accorda. Massive shopping malls rise up alongside the ultra-modern Peace and Harmony Palace Pyramid. The vision of the country's president, Astana, is fulfilling its promise as a progressive modern metropolis. The city is also home to Nazarbayev University. The importance of education to the country is reflected in its 99.7% literacy rate, one of the highest in the world. Almaty, about 1,300 kilometers to the south of Astana, is the banking and trade center of the country. Kazakhstan also boasts beautiful mosques, churches and synagogues that are representative of Kazakhstan's policy of religious and ethnic tolerance. In fact, Kazakhstan initiated and hosts triannual congresses of leaders of world and traditional religions, with the fifth one in 2015. The past and present meet on the grasslands, in the mountains, and now in the bustling cities. The stories and promises are whispered through the canyons as Kazakhstan continues to build a new Silk Road, an international center for trade and commerce, and a new legacy for the 21st century. Peace and harmony, however, don't just come with tolerance and cooperation. The people of the world must be fed body, mind and spirit. That's why, along with nuclear security, food, water and energy security are all top priorities for Kazakhstan. They constitute Kazakhstan's bid for its non-permanent membership in the United Nations Security Council for 2017-2018. The country promotes science and technology programs across the nation and around the world. In fact, in a few years' time, Kazakhstan will host an international specialized exhibition, Expo 2017, the theme of which is Future Energy. 2014 to 2024 has been designated as the UN Decade of Sustainable Energy for All. That's why Kazakhstan is opening doors to wind, solar and other alternative energy technologies while also developing its massive petroleum, natural gas and mineral extraction industries. The miles of open step make the perfect solar and wind energy labs. Kazakhstan's Green Bridge Initiative, supported by the UN Rio Plus 20 conference, is another important initiative being undertaken in Kazakhstan. As the world's largest landlocked country, Kazakhstan has never taken water for granted. That's why the country is focused on developing new systems, technologies and international relationships for securing the world's water supply. Kazakhstan has transformed from a recipient to a donor of international aid. As one of the most dynamically growing economies with a double-digit GDP per capita growth during its independence and leading rates in foreign investment influx in the region, Kazakhstan announced the launch of a KazAid official development assistance program. In fact, it has been more than six years since the country began providing assistance in the region and to Afghanistan. The prism of progress is a complex set of angles and lines that connect past to present and present to future. It reflects and refracts the ideals and ideas, values and actions, that carry a nation forward, that coalesce into a clear vision for the future. For Kazakhstan, that vision has been hard won through the ages. But the strife known by the people has also created a sense of shared responsibility, a sense of place and purpose and drive that inspire the nation to take its lessons beyond its borders to the world. When today goes into the history books, Kazakhstan will have written many chapters about peace and progress, innovation and ideas. These values were born upon the steppe by the people who set their eyes on a bright new horizon and a world of endless possibility.